How you doing guys? We're here this morning in Ahio Hill in West Cork. We're we'll about a half an hour's drive, kind of south of McCroom. Um, they hold this, I suppose, I don't know how long this is going on, but it's been held here a good few years. It is a massive working day. I suppose they cut maybe 30 acres of silage, and they have, I suppose, 20 acres of barley. They have tractor pulling, they have a whole lot going on, they have competition plowing, they have everything going on. I'm just watching here, there's a very clean 6640 and a couple more bits and pieces coming in the gate there, you can see them over there, la. But, um, yeah. Um, so we're going to make a video today, but over the next couple of weeks, we're going to make a few more videos. Um, so we'll try and put up a video maybe once a week for the next couple of weeks at this place. Um, because I was here about three years ago and it is a fantastic day, an absolutely brilliant day. They have double chops, single chops, precision chops, and everything else in between. So bear with us and um, like I said, we'll put up a few videos of the whole carry on and we'll, um, we'll go from there. And we'll give a, a look at the lineup and stuff. Like I said, they've tractor pulling, they've, they've everything here this year. All right, enjoy, and we'll talk to you after this. and major on the pull lads. They're over in the background um, a Heston gone in. I think that qualifies a full pull. Can't find them, grind them. There's a green flag, lads. Nine five five international. I never saw nine five five like that.
Jimmy and Jessica's Mingley. Jimmy, don't block it this year. To the 5,000 and the Talop double job. Some people have asked me what's the difference between a double chop and a single chop. A single chop more or less just hoovers it up and fires it straight up the exhaust and out the top. A double chop hoovers it up into an auger and then into a chopper box and then out the exhaust. That's kind of basically the difference. And here we have a John Deere coming. Nice top to 50, lad. Well, that had been some sight and sight in the yard around the mid 80s and 90s. I worked with a fellow one time, he had two 30, 50 two wheel drives. They were both, they were 90C and 91C. If anyone knows their whereabouts, let me know. They were both six cylinder turbos. And trust me, they weren't your average 30 50. A real 1990s outfit there now. I would display as the West Kerry head, a TW15, and I'm um, three to six sixes and seven seven strong.